Yeti is possibly the most popular premium bottle brand on the market today and for good reason. Their products cost a relative fortune, but that's because they're over-engineered and designed to last for many years. That's why some recent reviews of the Yeti Chug Cap caught our attention. We've seen a lot of posts on platforms like Amazon, Reddit, and Yeti's own website that mention how the threads stripped. This one from Amazon has a good picture showing the problem, and the description says the lid lasted only four months until the threads stripped. Given that Yeti is a premium brand, all of these negative reviews seemed odd, so we decided to order a chug cap to test it out and see if we could recreate this issue. We ordered a Yeti chug cap in December 2022 from Yeti's storefront on Amazon. Interestingly, the storefront showed this product is unavailable when we went back in early January when making this video, but we assume the listing will be back up and running soon. It might be wishful thinking on our part, but maybe they're updating the design to fix the issue we're about to talk about. Our first impression is that the cap is well built and feels durable. It definitely feels more heavy duty than competitors like Takea, Thermoflask, or even Hydroflask's new Flex Chug. Before we really tested our lid, we took a closer look at the pictures from the negative reviews. Our lids seem to be identical based on the locations of a few key features, which gives us confidence that the reviewers and we used authentic Yeti lids. The next step was to try to recreate the cross-threading issue. We tightened the lid as much as we could by hand, but this did not seem to do anything to the threads. Then we tried screwing the lid on and off at different angles. This includes pulling up and pushing down on the lid, so we got a full range of taking the lid on and off. This is when we started to see some wear and tear that looks consistent with the other reviewers. In particular, we started seeing some evidence of cross-threading where the black plastic threads started to get flattened out on one side. The problem with cross-threading and thread wear in general is that the issue accelerates once it starts. So even though we were clearly stress testing the lid by exerting quite a bit of force at different angles, the fact that we were able to create this amount of wear and tear over a few minutes is concerning. There are two main reasons for this problem. The first is that the clear plastic on the base threads seem to be significantly harder than the black plastic on the spout cap threads. Because the clear plastic threads have fairly sharp angles on the cross-section profile, these threads can cut into the softer black plastic. Second, the lid can start threading on at a pretty good range of angles. This can cause the threads to not line up as intended. Either one of these problems by themselves probably wouldn't be much of an issue, but the fact that they're both happening together is leading to increased thread wear. As far as Yeti's stance goes, their response to one reviewer was, what you are experiencing isn't something that happens often, but can be caused by cross-threading and or over-tightening your chug cap. We find this response a little disingenuous given that many people are having the same issue, especially when you consider that a large number of people experiencing this threading problem probably won't take the time to write a negative review. That being said, Yeti's diagnosis of the root cause seems to be accurate. So what can you do? There are a few ways to avoid this issue. First things first, if you've already purchased a Yeti chug cap and have experienced this thread issue, reach out to Yeti for a replacement. You shouldn't have to cover the cost of this problem. You can email customer service at yeti.com or you can submit a warranty claim on their website. We've included a link to Yeti's warranty claim form in the description. If you're deciding which bottle to buy and don't want to run across this issue, one obvious solution is to choose a different bottle brand. There are plenty of water bottles on the market today and some bottles like Takea's usually come with a chug cap included. One thing we love about Takea's is that the spout cap is attached to the cap base so there's no chance of losing or dropping the spout cap. Thermoflask also has a similar cap style. But if you're a Yeti fanatic, you know that going with a different brand isn't an option. In that case, consider using a different lid since none of the other lids seem to have the same type of threading issue. If you want to stick with the Yeti chug cap, just be mindful of how you use it. Make sure you have the spout cap aligned properly and perpendicularly to the base as much as possible before you start threading it on. The cap threads on really nicely and easily when it's aligned properly, and then you can just snug it up a little more to make sure the seal is leak proof. But whatever you do, don't pull out the gun show. You shouldn't have to use much force or effort to get a good seal. So if it feels like you're straining to get the cap on, then odds are it's not aligned properly. 
We hope that Yeti will take a closer look at their chug cap soon and update the design to prevent this issue from happening, either by fine-tuning how the threads interact, changing the plastic composition, or maybe even an overhauled design. If you found this video helpful, please do us a huge favor and take a quick second to click that like button or subscribe for more content about hydration, bottles, and accessories. And keep Bottle Pro in mind for accessories for your large bottles. Thanks for watching.